the you the life can come at you in interesting ways sometimes. What's it like to hear the news today about Dwayne close to the deal with the Heat coming back? Your friend, sort of life coming full cycle. Uh, I bet you probably want to hear me say I knew it all the time, don't you? Nah. Whatever you want. To <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's it's good, man. I'm happy for him. I'm, I'm happy for uh, you know um, the opportunity to play the game of basketball with him, to compete with him, um, to lead with him. You know, um, the guys are excited about the opportunity. Um, you know. Uh, Hank's still doing his job from above. You know, he's still making moves. Um, it's something that, you know, he and I talked about playing together, but we didn't see, see it happening so soon. We figured it'd probably be next year. Um, take it step by step and figure it out this summer. But, uh, you know, everything happens for knowing, a reason. Knowing this team and what you have, especially with Dion out now, can you see Dwayne fitting into a role right away when he arrives? Yep. Yeah, I can see him fitting in. I can see him fitting in right away. Uh, you know, when you know how to play a game of basketball, you know how to play the game of basketball. You know, um, things haven't changed, you know, too much offensively uh, since he's left. And defensively, you know, our principles are our principles. So, you know, I think he'll fit right in. I think it'll be good for our guys offensively. You know, a guy that can get in the paint, create, and uh, get other guys shots. Stepping back from basketball personally, what does this mean to you to have your brother back at your side? Oh, man, it's huge. You know, it's, it's, it's a great feeling, you know. Excited right now. Uh, you probably can't tell, but you know I'm really excited about the opportunity to finish, uh, you know, the season with them and, and see how far we can go. I know we can't tell because you're out here right now, but when you heard in there, what what went through your mind? What, what kind of emotions? I mean, I just immediately thought about our agent Hank, man. I, and I just said, you know, to myself, uh, you know, Hank's still doing his job. You know, he's still making moves. He's still looking over us. He's still taking care of us from up top. You know. Um, like I said, we, we talked about it, but we figured it'd just probably be a situation where, you know, we talked this summer and, and figure it out from that point on. We didn't think it'd happen this soon. You did you, how did you hear about that? Uh, I just heard about it after practice. Have you talked to, to Dwayne? Dwayne yeah. been in contact with him? Text? At least yeah, text. Yeah, yeah, we've been texting. Yeah. I just finished texting. And yeah, what's the been text been like? <laughs> Excitement level from his end. We know yours. Um, uh, you know, he's excited. You know, he, um, he's looking forward to it. You know, it's a lot of things that, you know, factor in. You know, not just coming home, but... You know, his son's playing high school basketball. He's never been away from his kids, uh, you know, playing in another city. You know, his kids were with him last year in Chicago. This year they're back home, and he was in Cleveland. So, you know, there's a lot of things that factor in um, to him wanting to come back in and, and do this. Did he say he'd likely be here to play tomorrow night? Uh, I ain't asking that. You know, we didn't get into that conversation. Um, you know, we'll figure that out. Obviously, it means a lot for the basketball team, but for the community, this area, to get the way back, what do you think this will mean? I mean, you know, I feel. I, I mean, I guess I could share my city with him again. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I could share my city with him again. You know what I mean? So, I mean, the city loves, you know, Wade, man. And, you know, regardless of, you know, him leaving, you know, he's done a tremendous amount of good around here, and, and people still love him. And, you know, I'm sure they're just excited to have him back as we are. You do. What does it do for this club going down the stretch here to get a guy like that? I mean, the right? guys are excited. You know, the guys are excited. You know, they're looking forward to the opportunity to, to play with a great one and learn from a great one. And, um, you know, I think D-Wade understands that, you know, even though he has the opportunity to still play and he has a lot of gas in the tank, that he can have an impact on these guys uh, beyond the game of basketball. How much of this group need a boost, UD, after just kind of the last five games and kind of struggling a little bit? Yeah, I think it's a great time for, you know, something like this to happen. And, and like you said, get a guy a boost and, you know, just give us um, a little bit of positive uh, energy. You know, um, everything's always better when you win it. You know, but one thing about us, uh, we come in, we work every day. You know, regardless of how we feel about the game before, the night before, frustrated, irritated, whatever it is, we come in and work every day, and that's the only way we know. You do. You've been in this organization for a long time. You, you've seen some crazy things. You've seen Shaq come in on a truck. You've seen the big three. Now, where does this rank? Uh, you know what? Um, it's probably one of the more shocking out of all the things that have happened, just because I've been talking to him the last couple of days, and you know, we kind of feel like we, you know, spoken into existence just a little bit. You know, the last couple of days we've been texting back and forth, um, you know, just brainstorming about different things and different opportunities. And, you know, we, like I said, we all thought this was probably going to play out next year. But, you know, the timing is the timing. Was that the hope that you guys would come back together maybe next year? Was that what he was talking about as far as contract? Yeah, and that's, that, that, that was what we were leaning towards, you know. But, uh, you know, every summer is a different summer. You take the summer, you know, you reevaluate your situation. You think about how your body feels. Uh, you talk to your wife and kids and, and see if they're going to stick it out with you one more year and then you make your decision. So, you know, that's the way we're planning on doing it. He, he promised you you guys are going to finish your careers together, right? So he, he, 
promise. Yeah, yeah, he promised me, but uh, you know, I, I wasn't gonna hold him to it. It was looking kind of shaky for a while, so I said, you know what, I'm gonna just leave that one alone. You know, we'll take another promise or something. But you know, it's good to have him back, man. It's gonna be fun, and more so than anything, me personally having him back, I appreciate having somebody back to help lead this group of guys. I mean, we have a lot of talent. Um, you know, we have all the tools that we need. You know, we just gotta continue to lead these guys and point them in the right direction, and not just teaching, but showing what it is to be a champion. I guess this answers all the questions about him and Pat, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I said, man, you know, uh, it's all love, man. We had a lot of success together, man. Pat's like a father to us, man. He knows that. Thanks, Thanks you. Thank you. Thank you.